Hey guys, so it's December, which means Christmas is coming and I'm so excited this year. Last year obviously I was in Sydney and it didn't really feel too much like Christmas because the weather was really hot and my family weren't there, my friends weren't there, I wasn't, you know, in home surroundings. So I kind of missed that last year, so this year I'm extra excited for it and as you can see, well I don't know if you can see, I've got obviously fairy lights on my headboard back there, but I've also dangled um, Christmas decorations from my ceilings and I've got tinsel um, across where my shelves are. So I've decorated my room already, which I know it's kind of a little bit early to be doing that, but I'm so excited this year. And I wanted to film the Christmas wish list video, so that's what I'm doing today. I just want to go ahead and say I'm not spoiled in any way. Um, my family and friends don't generally spend a lot of money on me in any case, and I wouldn't want them to. For me, Christmas isn't really about the presents, it's about spending time with family and friends, which is why last year it wasn't quite as good, because it was literally just me and Ben, um, and I really missed my family during that time, so this year I'm so excited to be spending it with them and doing family things together with them and spending the day with them and with Ben's family as well. So um, but yeah, I just wanted to f film this fun video. So the first thing that I'm really hoping I get is the Clarisonic Mia. Um, a lot of beauty gurus on YouTube have got these and they seem like a really good product to have. Um, if you don't know what one is, if you just type into the YouTube search bar, you'll find tons of videos reviewing them. They just seem like such a good idea and since I've got back from travelling, my skin has been really congested. So I really just want to focus on getting my skin a lot better, a lot healthier and cleaner and clearer. So I'm hoping the Clarisonic will help with that. It seems, from what everybody else has been saying about it, it seems like it will help. Um, so I'm really hoping I get that. I'd love to get it in like a purple or a pink colour, but any colour is fine. I'm really not too fussed about that, but I would love a Clarisonic. That's like my top um, item that is on my wish list. I'd also love to get an electric toothbrush, just again kind of go along with getting my skin healthier, I want to get my teeth healthier as well and I don't really spend enough time um, cleaning them in the morning so if I have something that's actually timed then that's going to help me actually clean them for the amount of time I'm supposed to and just help with gum health and all things like that. Another thing I'd really love is a subscription to Glamour magazine. I love that magazine. That is the one magazine that I will buy every single month, and I do buy it every single month, so I think it would be great if I could get a subscription and have it delivered to my door, because um, I love it. It just has everything you need in it. It's really cheap. It's got tons of stuff in it. It's a really thick magazine, because some magazines that are really expensive, like £3.50, £4, they're quite thin, and a lot of the pages are just adverts. Whereas Glamour, it does have some advert pages, but it has a lot of content. It has all sorts of stuff like real life stories, celebrity stories, gossip, fashion, beauty, hair, health. It just has so many different categories within that one magazine. I just, I love that magazine. So I'm hoping for a Glamour magazine subscription. I kind of want to get some of the MAC um, holiday stuff, like the Dazzle Spheres. I really would like to get the pink lip gloss set. But before the sets all came out, I was like, oh, I can't wait for the MAC Holiday collections to come out, blah, blah, blah. And then they've come out, and I've looked at, I've only looked at them on, I've only looked at them online, so I haven't gone and swatched them or anything like that. But the reviews that I've watched haven't really been that great. They're kind of like, or oh, the products aren't that great. Like, the brushes aren't um, handmade. They're kind of machine-made, so they're not as high quality. And people have said, like, even down to the eyeshadows, um, they have some permanent eyeshadows in the sets that they've got which aren't as good as if you went and just bought the individual eyeshadow. So, I don't know. I think I need to go to the MAC store and swatch them for myself and see what I think. But I haven't seen a great deal that's made me want to go out and buy tons of it. Whereas before I saw what the collection was, I was like, oh, I'm going to want to get so many MAC holiday stuff. But I do want to get some of the Dazzle Sphere stuff and a couple of other things. So I'd love some MAC stuff or a MAC gift card so I can go and pick out my own stuff. Um, there's a couple of music albums I would love to get. Um, Westlife are splitting up. And I've never really been a huge fan of Westlife, but I don't mind some of their songs. So I'd love to get their Best Of album. And Ed Sheeran's album I really want to get. I love his music. I just, I can't get enough of it, so I really want to get his album. And then, 
of course Lush, I love Lush so any of my friends or family can get me literally anything from Lush and I will be ecstatic because I just love Lush so much um, but in particular I really want loads of Cinder's bath bombs and if I don't get them for Christmas then I'm just going to wait till Lush usually has a sale where it's like buy one product and get two holiday things for free so I'm hoping they do that again this year and then I'm going to go and pick up tons of Cinder's bath bombs because I love Cinder's so much. It's always been a solid favourite of mine and I was so glad when I saw that they brought it out again this year so I really want to get some more of those. Oh and I really want to get some more of the Candy Mountain bubble bar because I love that. That's so nice. It's like really sweet girly scent. I love it. Um, and then the last thing on my wish list is the limited edition Scarlet GHDs. They look so nice and I've never had GHDs before and I'm, my straighteners are on their last legs. They, they're they supposed to heat up and then beep three times to let you know that it's heated up to the correct temperature but it just constantly beeps. It, sometimes it beeps within like a minute of heating up and then others it takes five minutes for it to heat up and then it'll beep and then it just constantly keeps beeping and beeping and beeping so I think that's on its last legs and I don't really trust it. I feel like it's frying my hair at the moment. So I kind of do need to get some new straighteners and I would love some GHDs, but I don't know. I think that might be asking a bit much, but we'll see. Maybe I'll put that on my birthday wish list for next year. But that was my Christmas wish list. Um, obviously, it's, com it's a completely selfish kind of wish list. It's not like wishing for world peace and for the wars to end and all those sorts of things um, or you know for hunger to end and all this stuff it's an entirely selfish wish list obviously I wish for all those other wonderful things to happen as well but um, just on a selfish level they are the things that are on my wish list if you have a wish list please film it as a video and leave it as a response to this video and I will watch it and um, if you can't make a video, just leave it in the comments because I'd love to see what other people are asking for for Christmas. And I hope you all have a great weekend and I'll speak to you later. Bye.